I am going to rain bread from heaven for you, and each day the people shall go out and gather enough for that day. This quote from Exodus chapter 16 verse 4 depicts a story many of us know well. The Israelites were hungry, searching for food and water, and in their moment of need, God provided for them, literally sending bread from heaven and creating a miracle to keep his people alive. It's a beautiful story about the power and goodness of the Lord. However, it's always come across to me as a little hard to believe. For some reason, I just didn't buy it. It's funny, stories with miracles are often the ones in the Bible that seem the furthest away. I don't usually think of miracles happening in my day-to-day -day life, so it can become hard to relate to them when they appear in the Bible. It all seems a little too unrealistic. But I guess that's the point, isn't it? The more I thought about this passage, the more I realized that miracles aren't as far away as they sometimes seem. In fact, I began to think the real issue is that we tend to ignore them when they do happen. Bread from heaven falls every day in our lives if we choose to look for it. In this year especially, even waking up every day can be considered a miracle. And maybe a call from a friend, the sun shining, a laugh, are all pieces of bread falling from heaven into our lives. Though, if I'm honest, it can be hard to see those things as miracles when there's so much grief in the world. Sometimes I wish God would send a miracle like the ones in the Bible, that he would go poof, and there would be no more pandemic, no more death, no more suffering. I don't know why he doesn't, to be honest. But I think he chooses to do something else instead. That he still sends bread from heaven. We just have to look a little harder for it. During the pandemic, I've taken to going on drives. When she's home, my sister Jessica and I would go on drives together just to get out of the house and do something. Sometimes we would talk the whole time. Others would be just sitting in comfortable silence. When she went back to college, I found myself alone on my drives. Often, I'd spend the whole drive thinking about what she would be telling me if she were here. Then, one day, the song Stand By Me by Benny King started playing on the radio. If you don't know, that's a popular song we sing at youth retreats. Tears welled in my eyes as I thought about Jessica, my friends here at youth that I've barely seen in the last year, friends at school, all the people that I missed seeing every single day. That song gave me permission to feel what I had been trying to hold back. It was my bread from heaven. I think we are all gifted with bread from heaven daily if we choose to look for it. Every smile, every phone call, every song that comes on the radio at just the right moment, every word spoken in a sermon that seems to speak directly to you, they're all little miracles designed to show us that the Lord is with us and that we are never alone. Amen.